Hello, this is a video on uh, injector leaking, what I thought was injector leaking anyway. Um, originally it started out I had a, a three foot stream of fuel shooting up on the underside of the hood. So I thought I had taken care of that, which I did. And then all of a sudden I had leaking underneath the uh, intake manifold here. That ended up being the injector pump. And in the process, I broke this little guy right here on the crankcase ventilation, which I understand is pretty common. See, it's soft now, but when you go to change it, it's going to be hard. And then you can also replace this piece here, which is also soft plastic. Okay, so um, I, I was smelling exhaust, so I came out and then I see diesel fuel bubbling up in here. Now this is after a year of playing with this. So diesel fuel is bubbling up in here. I see exhaust. So naturally I think I see injectors leaking from their seals. So I get all the stuff I need to do the seals. Well, lo and behold, right in here where this hose meets wasn't all the way in on at least three of them. And what I found was that hemostats were the best way of getting that hose all the way in. Um, and also on this piece right here, this is cut on an angle. And when I put it in, just as you see here, the bottom piece pinched, the bottom half of this pinched. And that enabled exhaust to be coming out of here, but you couldn't see it because it was underneath the tube. So what I did was when I put it back in, I actually turned this around so this piece right here was facing up, put it in, then I could see the underside and make sure it was all the way in. So I put all new hoses on and then cranked it up. Lo and behold, I had no more exhaust leak and or diesel leak. So basically it was just, it was the hoses leaking down into the injector wells and the uh, crankcase ventilation piece right here not being set properly. And here's what I found really worked well for cleaning out the wells. It's actually the hemostat with a Q-tip on the end of it. You get down there and absorb it all. And then, like I said, these hemostats are what I use for getting down into the hose area and then forcing the hose onto the little stud. Okay, so I hope this helps somebody.